recipe. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Wolf Den Farm. Morning feeding time. Yeah. How is my girls? How is my girls? <sighs> They're like, let's go, Dad. We've been trapped in here long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, everybody go. Oh, look at him rushing to go lay an egg in, in the boxes. Oh, uh, she didn't have to poop an egg that bad. You didn't have to let an egg go out that bad. Sound, but that's one of the little bantams that's sitting on eggs yelling not to come into her nesting box. Oh, look at my sleeping piggies! Look at my sleeping piggies! Oh, oh I came during nap time, huh? I came during nap time. Is that what happened? Step on mom. Don't step on mom. She's tired. Hi. I started a fight. <laughs> I started a fight because Docs wants to come outside and he was sleeping in the back. All right, come here, Saki. Come here, you big oaf. Don't worry, Smudgy Dudgy, I got you. There you go, Smudgy Dudgy. There you go, Bobby. How you doing this morning, huh? Doing this morning, my big boy. Who's such a big boy? Don't back up into bloobs. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Boop. Mikey? No. Oh, Alright, Sherman. Mikey, what are you looking on the ground for? I'm the one holding the food. <laughs> okay. All right. He's like, don't give me it. Don't give that to my boys. He's like, don't give that to my boys. Oh, we got that. Backed right into me this morning. Backed right into me this morning. I don't know what's going on over there. Hey, does anybody want the rest of this? Oh boy, I don't want anything to do. Whatever you're trying to do in there, Saki. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the, the, the boys think there's shenanigans happening. There's not shenanigans happening, there's just socks nudging bloobs. Blueberry, push him out of the way, Bloobs. Push him out of the way, Bloobs. No, you don't need. Get off your brother. No. Here you go, Blueby. I saved two pieces for you. Well, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna give them to you because you weren't waking up. Yeah, you weren't waking up, but there you are. Oh boy. Socks chasing his woman. Hi, Mudgy Dodgy. All right, so we got some uh, 
some food in there. That's good because I put a whole bunch of food in there last night. Uh, or Jen and I did. We also gave them kelp and uh, diatomaceous earth, which we uh, had a little bag breakage issue with. There's Atlas. Hi, Atlas. Who's all good boy? What's up, Red? <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, not quite tiltable yet. <sighs> Almost. Tonight, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. That was, that was leading you guys down a path. Hold on. We started wetting the food again. Oh. Man, I almost fed them food and I left this food in here. Uh, so we talked before how in the non-freezing months, we soak their food overnight. Oh, just moved you guys. I gotta come clean all this garbage out in here because I picked up the planting boxes for in here, which I'm gonna be doing later today. All right. So this is soaked food. Filled it last night. You just fill it with water. Stir it up. And this lowers their water intake. Quite a bit. It's like this porridge. Has a porridge like consistency. Oof. It's quite a bit heavier, by the way. A little bit more work to get it in the bin. Does work. Well, then there's the... There you go, guys. Yeah, we're doing wet food again. We're doing wet food again. Sherman seems to like it. You guys have had it before. Sherman's such a tank sausage. He just, he was just, he's just gonna lay down in there and start eating if he can. That's what he do, right, Bloobs? How is that, Bloobs? Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, he's my big boy. Oh, he's my big boy. <clears throat> Did you know I went and saw your mommy? Yeah, I went and saw your mommy yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I went over to see Sister Maria. Uh, she's where Socks and Blueberry came from. She raises a lot of a lot of pigs. She has ten sows. Just way too many for me. Uh, ten sows usually seven or yeah, she just. Uh, Seven to ten litters per cycle. So, seven to ten litters of piglets twice a year. Just a lot of pigs. A lot of pigs. But, because of that, she knows a lot about pigs. <coughs> Excuse me. And since we're Working on the farrowing huts. Went over to talk to her about birthing piglets and farrowing. Best spaces, best practices, tools to have on hand. <clears throat> she gave me a nice list of things I should have on hand. 
including a snare, which I didn't have for stuck piglets. Uh, which can probably be its own little discussion later, but it's just what it sounds like. It's a, it's a stainless steel snare so that you can reach in and pull the piglet out if it gets stuck halfway while being born. Yes, that's exactly what it sounds like. You're going, you're going in with the big glove and pulling that baby out, literally. Uh, I did not have a snare, so yeah. That was a, a good piece of information. <clears throat> Blueberries had a couple litters. A couple litters, so. Um, she's pretty big, too. You get stuck. You can get stuck with this than anybody, but. Uh, according to Sister Maria, it's very hereditary. Size, what is size and genetics. He said blueberry has never had a problem. So, it was a very good day. This is the uh, watering process, the soaking process. So, I have my handy dandy, very old hoe here. Uh, I love this thing. You can see it's actually rotting away on the top there, but we're we're gonna replace the handle eventually. But hasn't hasn't given up the ghost on us yet. So. Here we are. Uh, you want to get as much water in here as possible. We want to fill it right to the brim. And then we're going to stir it up and most of that's going to get absorbed. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to do stir. Uh, obviously you don't want to slosh it. What we're doing is we're just Digging down to the bottom. Get all those bubbles out. There you go. Here's the bubbles. Just getting the bubbles out. Uh, you can do it by hand as you add the water. That's how I used to do it. It's just messy. It's messy, it's not really necessary to like fully, you don't need to get it, you don't need to get it deep in there. You just need to, you just need to get some water down the, starting in the bottom and then as long as you do that, the water will soak. Uh, you have to break it a little bit because if you don't stir a little, what'll happen is it'll get stuck like, it'll soak down like halfway and then like as the corn swells it actually stops the water from going down which is you wouldn't think would happen but trust me it do it do happen so we just need we just need a couple like pathways for the water to get to be down there okay guys I uh I lost you there my battery died Got to plug the camera in. Hey! Oh! We got we got thieves! Get out of here! Get out of here, you thieves! You're, you're allowed to clean that. Okay. Uh I heard it turn off while I was explaining, but we're just mixing the water into this feed. And you don't need to fully stir it. All you have to do is create a little path down to the bottom. And you can see see that it's already like absorbed most of it. Uh, if you if you don't create a path to the bottom, it will not soak down. I might have just told you that twice. I'll have to uh, look at the footage later. Maybe splice something out. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna rinse this. Chickens, you guys can eat this off the floor. I love this old toe. This thing for like 10 bucks. 
an antique store. Uh, and I've been using it for two years with this original oak handle. That is, again, severely uh, compromised at the top. One of these days that top's gonna come off, but it hasn't come off yet, so. I'm intent on keeping to keeping use it until it does come off. I use I and I use it a lot. Um, if you've been watching my videos, it stays here in the winter because I use it to chip the ice. Because uh, we have a metal roof up top. Up top there's a metal roof. Uh, so the snow slides off, we get ice packed here, and I chip it up with that. So yeah, I'm not I'm not easy using it either. It's not like I'm just using it to stir this corn. So we will now leave this in here. Oh, it's late this morning. So I was up late last night. Oh, it's like 9:30 right now. No, I mean, I'm not out here this late, but I've been up late working, uh, both editing video and for my other CNC job doing reports and invoicing and all of that really fun paperwork stuff. So I was up till two last night. So 9.30 out here is, you know, not really that far away. All right, so what do we got? We're good this morning, guys. We're just going to... Grab our bowls. Uh, obviously, there's not gonna be any eggs yet outside, as I just let them out. There's uh, there's Hoppy Dink and Cotton Eye Jill down there. How you guys doing? Huh? Yeah, I see, I see you, Ernie. That's Ernie. Bert, her compatriot, is sitting on eggs. Well, fluff balls, adorable. Pigs are over there sleeping already. Oh, he's got socks. It's you, socks. It's you, boy. I'm sure they will demolish that food. Yeah, you guys gotta come out here and eat. I don't stop putting food in the chicken hut. Um, but I only put food in the tray that's in there. I don't have any more food, sweetie. Oh, mama. Mama. Uh, I want them to eat outside. I want them to forage and dig. Did you kick mama out? Speck. Oh, that's not speckles. That's one of the other whites. Did you kick mama out? That was rude. As long as you're keeping her eggs warm, that's fine. That bantam. I'm not taking your eggs. See that little bantam right there. Yeah, I didn't take your eggs. It's okay. It's okay. You can go in there and get them back. She's going to lay an egg. You can sit on it. She's complaining. That little... Alright, guys. Uh, have a have a good morning. Check you later. Hi, Atlas. Who's a good boy?